This elevator is all types of terrifying. So yeah, going out to the last day in Rome, um, gonna go to the forum and then have a look around, do the Trevi Fountain, stuff like that. And I just booked an Airbnb in Venice tomorrow. Yeah, so goals for today. See as much as possible and don't sniff every single time I start recording. I'm still feeling a little bit sick. I've been walking around the forum and the surrounding gardens for the last like, almost two hours. It's ridiculously beautiful, it just goes on forever. Why? Sad that today is my last day in Rome. Well, I'll be in Rome tomorrow morning, but only to head off. Two days doesn't feel like enough. Over there, there's a Colosseum. With all the masses. Last night when I was walking home, I accidentally dropped my memory card and I'm using like a memory card adapter for a tiny SD card and it fell on the ground and it took me a while to find and I thought I just lost all of the footage from yesterday. Thankfully I didn't. Look at this place. According to the signs, this is one of the oldest places in Rome and the structures which were like they're not really standing anymore um were actually basically a dedication to the origin of Rome and it was seen as one of the most sacred places in all of Rome due to yeah it being basically the center the beginning the omega of Rome pretty cool So yeah, at this point, my feet are so sore, they're just giving up. Oh, every step is pain. But it's still worth it. The city is just so nice. I probably should get a metro or something, so I don't need to just walk, but everything's so close that it just kind of feels pointless to sit around and wait for a train. For some reason I've always like preferred just to move than sit down and wait. Sitting down and waiting seems a lot more effort than actually just walking somewhere. Okay, well I'm definitely going to go back to the Airbnb and rest my feet for a little bit. Because this is the street the Airbnb is on. It's on the way to the catacombs. Which makes it kind of easy. Easy decision. Oh. And that way I can use the internet to finalise my plans for travel tomorrow. There's not a lot of free Wi-Fi in this city and the places where it is. It's just confusing. So yeah, I've tried four different types of pizza since I've been in Rome. I haven't tried any pasta yet, so I should probably get pasta for dinner, I'm guessing. Although it's really hard to say no to pizza. There's still much, much more to try. The building I'm staying in, my room's like all the way up there. You can't actually see it, because it's kind of hidden behind a balcony. I put sunscreen on multiple times today, but now that I look at my forehead, oh, I think I got some better. It's all right. I've got some cream and stuff I can put on it in my bag here. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I got some bepanthin and stuff because I got pretty badly sunburned in Germany. But yeah, it's a beautiful day today, but very, very good for burning your skin. Very good for burning your skin. Yeah, time to rest my feet because they're sore. Oh, what's up, Larry? So, this wall, oh, yeah, fence, that I, wall, fence, that I've been like walking through the gate, like, every day, and I was like, what is it? It's so cool. Turns out, it dates back to, uh, 270 to 275 AD, and was a wall built to protect the city from European barbarians that were trying to attack. Uh, over and over until it became an actual problem like the a wall. The wall was 16 kilometers long and the original wall was 6.5 meters tall and 
it stood, like, well, it's still standing since like 270 AD. So at the moment, I'm gonna go to this castle, St. Angelo, I think it's called. Uh, that's all, I guess, super old castle. I can't really remember when it's made. Hopefully there's some information there I can read. So I just made it to the river and it's a lot more beautiful than I was expecting. I need to somehow work out how to get down there. Because that looks like the place to walk. So I found a way down to the water and it's a lot cooler down here, which is also a good bonus. This water is so blue. You get like, it get, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. It makes me understand why we call the color aqua, aqua. It looks like something out of a video again. All of the leaves falling out of the trees in the wind. This is far too beautiful. Why does it go out of focus every time I hit the record button? Come on camera, work out where I am. sure every 10 year old boy's dream is to come to a castle. But yeah, this, this one's for 10 year old me. Pretty sure I'd be pretty excited. I saw the water move like really fast and I was like, what was that? And then he came back over to the shore. Yeah, he came back. Baby, come back. You are way too adorable. Look at you eat. Nom 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 nom. He's a big guy. Look at him. He got completely out into a rock. Scratch, 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 scratch. It's a perfect little area for wildlife. We got the ducks, the seagulls. And this is like all these plants growing in here. It's like pretty perfect. Oh, there he goes. But yeah, so I, I have a train at like 11.35 in the morning and then it's a three and a half hour train trip and I'll get to the town just out of Venice. It's just across the bridge. It's about a 15 minute train trip from where I'll be staying into the center of Venice and the train runs 24 hours, I've been told. So it's pretty cool. It's a lot cheaper to stay um, just out of Venice instead of inside of it. There's a lot of people sitting up on top of the bridge. I mean, it is pretty beautiful, so kind of makes sense. But yeah, we need to find some dinner. You want to say we? I mean, we. So I found the pasta dinner I was looking for, and it was delicious. I got carbonara with some red wine, some focaccia, and then for dessert, I got some tiramisu. I spent way more money than I normally would on dinner, but it's my last night in Rome, so I spoil myself. 